What is objectivism? What is objectivism and why is it important? And I also want to ask a question. Are you an objectivist? Am I an objectivist? Who's an objectivist? That's, that's another question we can ask. But let's start with what is objectivism? And the simple answer to what is objectivism, and I think the correct answer to what is objectivism, is objectivism is the philosophy of Ayn Rand. Objectivism is the philosophy that Ayn Rand discovered, defined, articulated in her writing. Primarily in the Fountainhead. The Fountainhead has, has some of, of the elements of objectivism, much more so and more comprehensively so in Atlas Shrugged, but really as articulated by Ayn Rand in her nonfiction. So it's everything Ayn Rand wrote in philosophy, and I emphasize in philosophy because not everything Ayn Rand wrote is in philosophy. Everything Ayn Rand wrote in philosophy, everything Ayn Rand approved of that other people wrote in philosophy. So whether it's Leonard Peikoff's The Ominous Parallels, which he helped edit, or Nathaniel Brandon's The Psychology of Self-Esteem, which she helped edit, although, again, that's psychology, so it's not philosophy, whether it is all the essays of various people wrote in uh, the different anthologies that she published over the many years. Objectivism is the philosophy that Ayn Rand discovered, that Ayn Rand articulated, that Ayn Rand wrote and spoke about. It is her philosophy. It is her philosophy. So objectivism is Ayn Rand's philosophy. That's what it is. And I want to differentiate it here from, some of you might be surprised by this, but from the truth. It might turn out that objectivism is the truth, or at least in everything she says is true in philosophy. It might turn out that she made some errors, and some of what she said turns out to be not true, or when the context is, is broadened 100 years from now and we have more knowledge, maybe people understand things differently and the truth will be different. Will those new truths to be discovered in the future, either that she didn't talk about on topics she didn't discuss, or as corrections to things she did say, will those truths be objectivism? No. They will not. They will be something else. They will be whatever name we want to give it, but it won't be objectivism. Objectivism is the philosophy of Ayn Rand. It is what Ayn Rand wrote and spoke and discovered and articulated. That's what it is. It is not equal to the truth. Now, I think it's true because, I mean, I'm not a philosopher, and to the best of my understanding, everything she wrote in philosophy is true. But I'm completely open to the notion that Greg Solomieri or Ankar or somebody comes to me and says, look, there's a mistake here. Here's a better way of doing it, or, or here's a completely different way of doing it. I mean, it's possible. They haven't done it yet, to me, in, to me at least, but, but it's, it's completely possible. Or, but I'm even more open to the idea that 50 years from now, 100 years from now, some genius of that era says, yeah, a lot of what Ayn Rand said is true. It may be even 95, 99% of it is true, but here's some modifications. Here's some reformulations. And here's definitely what objectivism, certainly what the philosophy needs is expansion. I mean, Ayn Rand wrote introduction to, uh, to, an ep to epistemology, not the complete epistemology. So there's a lot of work to be done, but that work will not be objectivism. Objectivism is what Ayn Rand formulated. That's it. And everybody who wrote, in a sense, under her name. That is it. So that's really important. As individuals, what we should be is truth seekers. I studied objectivism and study objectivism because I believe it's the truth, because everything's consistent, everything integrates, everything makes sense to me. And uh, to the best of my knowledge and ability and comprehension, objectivism is true. But the essential motivation is the seeking of truth, not 
the joining of a cult or the joining of a movement or the trying to make sure that I am a good objectivist and I know all the latest objectivist jargon and, or that I am or that somebody else is an objectivist. That is not a motivation. It's not a proper motivation. That would be completely second-handed. Your motivation should be to try to figure out for yourself, first-handed manner, what the truth is. And there are parts of the objectivist philosophy that I've studied that I can't say I really know. I couldn't teach it. I don't consider stuff to be that I know unless I can teach it. Right? And there's there are vast parts of the metaphysics and epistemology and even the ethics, really, that I don't think I could teach. And I could probably go and study it and really integrate it and think about it and really spend the time. And I'm sure much of it, I could get to the point where I could teach. But it's only for me, at least, not, I'm, not, I'm not using it as a standard for you, because I, I, I consider myself an intellectual. So for an intellectual to say, I really know this stuff means you should be able to teach it. So for you, you know, you're going to have to have your own standards, but that is my standard for, for knowledge. So again, I think this, you know, the what is objectivism is really crucial. And this leads to this big controversy out there, which I think is a, an absurd controversy, a ridiculous controversy, a stupid controversy of this idea of open versus closed system. Is objectivism an open system or is objectivism a closed system? I mean, it's a stupid question because there's a sense in which it's open, the sense in which it's closed. And what's important is, is it objectivism? And beyond that, what is truth? That's what's important. What is objectivism in a sense that you want to describe what Ayn Rand considered objectivism, what Ayn Rand articulated and described. So the idea that objectivism is an open system is the idea that there's some core principles in rejectivism and you accept those and that makes you, uh, I guess, uh, an adherent to objectivism. And then if you disagree with certain aspects of what Ayn Rand wrote, or more importantly, if you add some stuff, if you decide instead of seven virtues, there are actually nine, or if you don't agree with a certain formulation and you adopt a completely different formulation, all of that is fine, right? All of that you can do. There's nothing wrong with that. And in that sense, objectivism is open. The sense in which it's closed is you can't call that objectivism. You can't call that objectivism. That is not objectivism. That's your musings based on objectivism, maybe. It's your best understanding, maybe, of objectivism, maybe. But it's something else. It's, it's you. And who cares? Why is that important? We only care in a sense of having clarity about who's responsible for what. You're responsible for your thoughts. You're responsible for your ideas. You're responsible for your discoveries. You're responsible for whether your ideas are true or not. And Ayn Rand is, in a sense, responsible for hers. For you to embrace, to use Ayn Rand in order to give your ideas the aura of legitimacy or the aura of a great mind like Ayn Rand, that is just plain fraud. That's plain thievery. So, I mean, go and discover new virtues. Go and articulate new ideas in epistemology. And that's great. Discover truth. Go out there and discover truth. That's what, if you're a thinker, if you're an intellectual, if you're, that, that's your responsibility. But don't call it objectivism unless it's what Ayn Rand said. Call it Iran's, you know, application of his best understanding of Ayn Rand's ideas. But these shows that I do, these podcasts, are not objectivism. They're Iran's application to the best of his ability of Ayn Rand's ideas. And they're my responsibility. And anything I say here that's wrong is on me, not on her. And anything I say here that's right, that is not hers, that it's not her directly, I get some credit for. Now, because it's based on her ideas, she gets a lot of the credit too, but she doesn't get her name associated with it because she might turn around and say, and very likely would turn around and say, you're on, you're wrong. You're on, you're wrong. About a lot of things, because she was a genius and I'm not. 
So objectivism is a closed system in the sense that only what Ayn Rand discovered and wrote about and articulated is objectivism. It's open in the sense that people can go out there and discover new discoveries, but then don't call it objectivism. That's the name for Ayn Rand's philosophy. 